Welcome to WebHarvey Web Scraping Workshop. In this video, we will see how WebHarvey can be used to extract data from Silo property listings. So the first step is to navigate to the page within WebHarvey's browser, which displays the data which we need to extract. So let's perform a search and go to the target page. And suppose we need to extract all these property details from multiple listing pages. The first thing to do is to start the configuration and teach WebRV what all data you need. You can just click and select the details which you need. You can see that WebRV automatically captures sequence of repeating data automatically from the page. And now let's configure WebHarvey to extract this data from multiple pages. You can see that there is a scroll bar here, but don't try to click on it and scroll it down because it will pop up the capture window because this scroll bar appears within the page. So for this reason, use the scroll wheel of your mouse or your trackpad to scroll this list down. And then you can click either on this next page link or the direct link to load page number two and set it as the next page so that WebHavi knows how to go through each of these pages and extract all the data which we select during this configuration stage. Now if you click on the image you can also extract the property details page URL. Now we can actually follow this link to select additional data from the property details page. So just like in the listings page, you can continue to click and select the data which we need. Let's click on this image and capture the image. We can either download the image or capture its URL. And again, you can use the scroll wheel of your mouse or your trackpad to scroll down. And in cases where the data is guaranteed to occur after a heading text, click on the heading text and use the capture following text option for better accuracy. So assuming we have selected all required data from the page, we can stop the configuration. Now in this example, we have not selected all the data. You can refer to other videos in this channel which explains how, you know, a lot of other data like the pricing history and neighborhood details, etc., can be extracted. Or better, you can contact our support at support at webhavi.com. We usually reply within 24 hours. Please send us uh, the problem which you faced or your requirement in detail and we can assist you even with the trial version. So now that we have completed the configuration process, you can click on the start mine button and click on the start button so that WebHavi will start the extraction process. It will load the exact same page which we configured and it will pull the data which we selected during the configuration phase. As you can see, the data is being fetched from the starting page and then WebHavi will start to follow each of the property links to get additional data. You can see that WebHavi is following each property link and getting additional data. We hope you find this video useful. In case you have any questions, please do let us know at support at webhavi.com. You can also go to webhavi.com and support us using the contact form there. Refer to more videos and knowledge base in our website. Thank you.